I've got a 10 of your favorite tips and tricks for Google Docs. How can we insert a video in our Google Docs document? The best way is to use smart chips. So you simply need to start typing with the at sign, the one we use for email, at, and then you paste a link to your video. I already copied the link, so I paste the link to YouTube video. And now they promise me that I can use tab to replace this whole thing with a very nice smart chip like that. And here it is. I got a title and when I hover my mouse, the video preview will show just like that. So it's way better than just putting the link into your document. And now I can also delete that at sign at the beginning because we already created this smart chip that can be also be size up. So we can make this smart chip uh, large and align to the center just like this. So nobody will <laughs> like skip that video. It's very visible now. How to use Google Vids, new free AI video editor. If you hover your mouse, you see the preview and you can click on it here. Open this video in a new tab and start playing straight away. So that's the best way right now to include videos in your Google Docs. How can we add a nice decorative border in Google Docs? The easiest way is to simply search in Google for some nice pictures of the border. Then we're going to utilize the watermark feature. This way the border will appear on every page in our document. So let's search for the watermark option. Head to insert and select watermark. Now we can select an image. So I just upload the image of the border I uh, download. And here's the image. We can decide on a faded version, like for watermark or the original color of it. They gave me the size here. I can scale it up a bit. I can even do it manually here on the picture. So that's a really good way. We can reposition that with the mouse while we are got this watermark menu active. After we close that, the watermark will be kind of locked. So that's also a good thing because we will not move it by mistake. If you want to have more control, you can head here, more image options when you can decide about opacity, brightness, contrast. We can recolor this. We can set up exact position. So I want to set this up on zero, zero to start from the corner kind of. Okay. And I can see it's a bit too high so let's be sure it's to the center like this and that that did the trick okay i'm happy with this watermark i just need to close this close this and now it's solid i cannot select this watermark easily i need to double tap on it if i want to work with it right now with the border like this i will have to make the margins of this document a bit larger so i had to file page setup and change maybe those margins to one inch on all sides. Let's try that. That's better. All right. And keep in mind, if we move to the next page, the border is here again because we set this up as the watermark. So this border will appear on every page. So that's really good feature. Let's change the background color in Google Docs. After you create a new document, head to file at the top left corner search for page setup. It should be here at the bottom just above the print option. And as you can see now I can decide not only the size or margins but also the page color here. When you got some pre-made colors but you can also click this little plus and add your own color. All right so let's add this gray color. Click save. And here it is, we got our default color and you need to confirm that with OK. Now we got this gray color as our backdrop color. How to delete unwanted pages in Google Docs? Before we can answer this question, we need to find out why there's a page. Pages are added automatically when there's more and more content in your document, right? We never like reach the end of the page and then search, oh, where is the add page button? Normally the page just appear again and again. So take a look, I'm here on the page number five. And if I keep pressing like enter, I will reach end of the page and then they will just add page number six automatically. I can even click insert page break and I jump to page number seven straight away. Now we got seven pages, how we can get rid of those pages? 
If you are not sure what causing the page to appear, the best way is to click view here at the top left and click here show non-printing characters, so hidden characters. Normally you will not see them, click on that and you will see this is a page break here. If I delete that, I'm back on page number six and now I see there's somebody just some crazy folk here press enter again and again and cause this another page to be created. Alright, so thanks to showing those hidden symbols, we can now see everything. Enters, spacebar, page breaks, and we can just delete them when we need to reduce the number of pages. Alright, so keep that in mind. Pages are added automatically in Google Docs by removing some content like page breaks, enters, you can reduce the number of pages and that's the secret really. And if, if you are done with it, now I can click view and I can hide all those special symbols again. And that's it, we just delete seven pages just by deleting those special symbols. How can we place a signature in our Google Docs document? First, head to the place in your document where you wanna put your signature. Then, when you head to the Insert tab, you may notice there's a new feature for e-signatures. Unfortunately, it's a premium one behind the paywall, but nothing is stopping us from just simply adding an image of your signature from your hard drive. So I hope you already scan your signature and you got image ready to go. In that case, we simply need to insert an image. Here it is. Now we can insert image from your drive, from your computer, even from the camera. So we can literally snap the picture with the built-in camera of your device. All right, I got this on my computer, so I will upload the image right now. And here it is, it's an image, so I can customize the size of it. I prepared this in the PNG format, so the transparent backdrop. We can decide how it will wrap with the text, so we can warp it behind the text, in front of the text. If you move it to in front of the text, then you got more freedom, because you can move it around without worries that it will modify the text. And that's your signature that you scan and put into your drive and then you just add it as your image. So that's the way of adding your signature. Keep in mind, there's a really handy feature now when you can remove the backdrop if you still got like the paper behind your signature. Simply click on the image and then search for image options here at the top when you can modify some basics like size of it, wrapping with text, position, you can recolor this in case you scan like black signature and you want to make it blue or green. You can do it from here. You don't need to prepare the new one. There are some adjustments that can help you out if you've got still a bit of backdrop. And that's all you need to place the image with your signature in your Google Docs document. How can we add page numbers in Google Docs? Simply head to Insert menu at the top. You will see it straight away page numbers. We got four options here presented, but if you need more, you just go and click more options and customize how the numbers will be displayed. For me, top right corner, that's exactly what I need. I click on that. You got option to start counting from page one or start counting from page two. Like the first page, the cover page will be ignored. So that's handy. I will start counting for page one. And now in the header, I see number one. Let's insert a page break so we can test it out. Page break and take a look. Now we are on page number two. All right, so this now number is now showing at the top right corner exactly as I set it up. If you double tap in the header, you see this page number almost covered by the super annoying AI help that is covering the part of the screen I try to work with. So great help, Google. But anyway, I managed to select this number two and now I can change the size of it. I can make it bold. I can change the color of this page number. So we got options to modify the style of it, okay? And if I roll back to page number one, take a look, it's affected all of the numbers across the document. So that's great. You can even type something here and this will be also part of the header, page two, page three. All right, so we can modify this default one that they gave us by simply modifying the header of the page. Or if you set this up in the footer, of course, in that case, you must head to the footer. How to strike through your text in Google Docs. Simply select your text, 
then head to format at the top text and you will see all of the options for the text like bold italic underline and there's also strike true and there's also a shortcut that you may kind of found handy if you do it a lot so in mac is command shift x on windows is Control shift x so here it is after i click that i got strike true let's try it once more this time i will just use the shortcut all right so i just select that i press command shift x and it's strike true we got this line striking the text so it's not here at the top in those like three most common use things but you can just select your text head to format text strike true it's over here how can we change a text formatting into two columns on one page simply head to format at the top search for columns and you may notice by default we got the single column layout but we can quickly switch to two columns or even three columns let's try with two columns and here it is the text will go all the way down to the bottom of the page and then float back to the top to another column how to check the word count in google docs simply head to tools at the top here and you will see it straight away it's a second option on the list word count open it up you will have this pop-up showing you you got one page in my case it's one page 276 words and 1780 characters so you got all of the details from your document you can also check this box if you want them to show you the live number while you're typing you click ok now and you got this number here at the bottom left you can always move that to pages words or characters and you will see it all the time and while you're typing you will have additional words popping up here so you can monitor kind of live so that's how easy it is simply tools and word count is here and you can turn on and off the live preview as well how can we change margins on our google docs document after you open up the document head to files at the top left corner search for page setup it should be just above the print click on it and you will see what is the size of your paper you can change it from here as well i will keep it as a4 you can see the backdrop color and also margins in inches top bottom left and right you can change just one or you can change all of them so i will change to 0 0.25 inch on all sides now i click ok you can also save this settings as default for your future documents if you like here it is set as default but in my case i will just click ok and that's it now i can type way closer to the border of the page as you can see the margins are indicated here and i can actually push it to a negative indent so even the margins are still here i got like minus 0 0.25 so i kind of overlap that so that's also nice trick if you don't want to change margin just want to move some text kind of outside them it's also possible all right so that's how you do it i hope this was helpful remember file page setup and you can change it from here see you in the next tutorial